This is my 2004 Subaru Forester XT. It's a bit of a slob. According to Subaru, it makes 210 crank horsepower. It's a great utilitarian car, but it's no canyon carver. It doesn't exactly have tight steering feel, and it has more body roll than a fishing boat. Now, sure, I could have just bought a WRX if I wanted to carve some canyons, but a WRX wouldn't have this much practicality. And it's hard to find a WRX with 100,000 miles on it, single owned by a grandma who garage kept it all its life. Someone who has all the service records from the dealership. No, you just don't find WRXs in that kind of condition. Then again, you don't find Foresters in that kind of condition either, without one large caveat, the automatic transmission. This automatic is trash. It's never in the right gear, and there's so much drivetrain loss, I might as well not have the turbo. For a daily driver, I want my car to be fun to drive in any circumstance. And right now, that's just not the case. I've owned this Forester for about a year now. It's been 100% stock and boring. But now, it's time to finally start modding this car. Before you start modifying a car, you need to make sure that it's reliable. This car recently blew the radiator. So basically, the radiator has plastic end caps on the end of them that attach to the aluminum part of the radiator. And over time, through heat cycles, those tend to separate apart and coolant will come out of them. It's a common problem on Subarus. So I could change this out with another OEM radiator and probably be good for another 50,000 miles. But rather than doing that, I'm gonna fix the problem indefinitely with a Koya radiator. It's all aluminum, so it doesn't have plastic end caps and it won't explode like this one did. So as you can see, there's more capacity in the Koya rat, which is going to allow me to run more coolant in there, which will keep the coolant cooler for longer. Especially if I was racing it, which demands cooler temperatures. But really, all I care about right now is reliability, and I definitely have it with the all aluminum radiator. With the freshly installed radiator, it's time to pick up the six-speed swap at JSpec Auto. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, man. Charlie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm here for the uh, JDM STI Forester six-speed. Wow, that's an awful. Yeah, we got that package <laughs> together for you. Cool. Let's go check it out. Yeah. JSpec Auto is an automotive heaven. They import all sorts of stuff from Japan that nobody in the US can buy easily. I came here to buy the full STI 6-speed drivetrain swap, but they have all sorts of stuff here for Hondas, Nissans, Toyotas, really anything that's genuine JDM, you can find it here. Cool, so this is it? This is it. So this came out of the STI Forester? Yep, so this is the JDM. Forester STI transmission. Mm -hmm. How many miles around? About 60,000 miles. Woo! So it's the R180 diff, and the axles and hubs to match. I feel like I feel like I'm super Japanese wearing <laughs> these gloves. So are these like Japanese worker yeah, gloves? Yeah, these come from Japan. Uh, they send them to us in the containers. So, <laughs> did they really? Yeah. Oh man, that's cool. So they are JDM. It was funny, <laughs> it was funny like, if you watch some of like the car videos from Japan, like in Japan, these are the ones they're using in the shops. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty cool. That is they're, cool. They're so heavy duty, they're yeah. like actual fabric. Yep. That's funny. Sure, not that far. Yeah, just watch that shift protector. We managed to somehow fit the full drivetrain swap in the back of the Forester, but I'll definitely come back here later to pick up some more JDM goodies. Yes! So I am here at Andertech Automotive, uh, where we're gonna work on the Forester build. Uh, we've got Riyadh here who's tearing it apart already. He's got the rear subframe out. Uh, he's currently taking the front subframe out, taking out the transmission uh, so we can put in a six-speed. You may be asking, why am I not doing this? Well, I'm not as good as they are. Also, I have to do it in like a week and a half, so it's gonna be kind of crazy for this week and a lot of stuff gonna be going on with the Forester. Hi, I'm Riyadh from Andertech. I'm working on Ben's Great Forester now. I was previously working on the Legacy, but we're on the Forester six-speed swapping it now, so I'm just gonna keep going. Doing a six-speed swap on a Subaru is not easy. 
The internet had led me to believe that this is a simple swap, and everything Subaru just bolts right up. And I guess, yeah, it's mostly just bolts. Both the front and rear subframes have to be swapped over. Nearly everything from the car was removed except for the engine itself. Pull out the old automatic, bolt in the new STI subframe, STI Spec C suspension, Brembo brakes, new clutch, and even a 2015 STI steering rack. Subaru steering racks generally have poor steering feel. That is, except for the 2015 STI steering rack, and I'm stoked to have it in the car. So this is a CNC uh, rear diff cover uh, that Andertech in-house makes. It's got a sight glass, it's got two pieces here so you can fill it in one and not uh, drain out of the other instead of taking the whole rear diff cover off, uh, like the old factory one. It's also a bigger capacity. Uh, yeah, super stoked about that, and it also looks good. Honestly, the guys here at Andertech were working faster than I could film. We only had one week to complete this whole swap before I leave for the Florida to Alaska road trip that you might have already seen. Riyadh was incredible, and I'm blown away by the quality of their work. Both STI subframes were installed, and the 2015 STI steering rack fabrication was completed. My Forester was really starting to turn into a car that I can be proud of.